Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about digital banking platforms and infrastructure. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in banking industry, fintech, and you want to learn about it. Uh, basically, a friend, we all knows that there are so many transformations and enhancements in the uh, banking sector, and uh, banking sector is offering the online banking, mobile banking services, and lots of lots of digital services are there, uh, which financial institutions are nowadays providing. Uh, behind those services, uh, either mobile banking or online, digital banking has a appropriate platforms and infrastructure so based on that these platforms plays a crucial role in modernizing and transforming the traditional banking operations to meet the evolving needs of customers in the digital age so today we shall discuss about those platforms and infrastructure in detail so first one is the core banking system friend I'm sure that anyone who has ever ever worked in the banking sector he has definitely heard about the name of a core banking system or CBS uh, friend you can think of core banking system as the heart of the digital banking uh, in the banking system this is the central software application that manages the processes the basic banking transactions and operations such as account management deposits loans payments fund transfers so it serves as the backbone for the entire banking infrastructure then online and mobile banking interfaces when uh, digital banks nowadays providing online uh, services online banking uh, mobile banking applications for example uh, like for example it browser based applications are there so that you can just open and those applications for example for online banking you just open the online banking website uh, in the browser and you have to log in it and after login you can perform different tasks like fund transfer you can check your balance you can check your account statement so digital banking platform provide user friendly interfaces accessible through web browser or mobile application these interfaces allow customers to perform a wide range of banking activities including checking account balances transferring funds paying bills paying bills means like utility bills you can pay bills for electricity uh, for example mobile water bills etc applying for loans loan means you can apply for loan for a car for a home and managing different investments as well so uh, friend you can notice that so many things which were you were working you have to go on the branch side and uh, you have to wait in the lines and then uh, you can up you were applying for those services nowadays all those services approximately all those services are for customers nowadays available through online banking and mobile applications as well here uh, friend again the mobile banking interfaces are nowadays more popular than the online uh, services why because uh, mobile is very easy everyone nowadays has a smartphone so they can easily access the services through the um, through the mobile interfaces then uh, data security and encryption uh, with the passage of time uh, friend when the uh, the traditional banking is moving towards the digital banking so here is the risk of fraudulent activities and uh, security issues and concerns are also raising and increasing here as well so just to cater or counter those issues and concerns we have a factor of data sector and data security and encryption here friend security is a cr uh, critical aspect of digital banking robust encryption uh, protocols and security measures are implemented to protect sensitive customer information and financial transactions secure socket layer and which is called as SSL and transport layer security which is called as TLS are commonly used to encrypt data transmitted over the in internet uh, friend we know that whenever data is transferring over the internet there are chances of hacking hacking means the unauthorized access of data is possible because for example I am sending the data to you over the internet so internet means open layer actually open interface 
so anyone can access that data so just to cater uh, just to protect the data uh, so that any uh, unauthorized person cannot access the data we have a concept of SSL secure socket layer and TLS transport layer security then uh, multi-channel integration uh, means that the digital banking platform support multi-channel integration means enabling customers to access their uh, accounts seamlessly across various channels including web browsers mobile apps ATMs and even social media platforms here friend basically in terms of banking we uh, call this as a channel channel means that for example online banking is one channel uh, like you are opening the uh, you are accessing your data your account through the uh, web browser based application for example mobile app is another channel ATM is another channel uh, for example IVR is another channel so basically in banking terms uh, all those uh, points with, through which you are accessing your data your account is called as a channel uh, these channels are integrated among which each other each other as well like for example this is just a channel channel means that there is a data reside in the uh, banking sector and there are many paths to access that data so that is why it is called as channel actually next is the APIs or application programming interfaces uh, friend the um, APIs facilitate the integration of various products and services within the digital banking platforms. They allow third-party developers to build applications and services that can interact with the banking system, fostering information and expanding the range of available offerings. Here, friend, remember that, for example, uh, we have a data in the bank like you have the accounts data like what is the name of my account and the, the balance of my account uh, other information reside in the uh, bank so now bank what can do like they can expose the APIs or application programming interfaces and any uh, third party which has a contract with the banking system and they are authorized they are secure so they can access my data but it is completely secure completely encrypted so by using those api's only my authorized data could be available to the third party and they can build system on that for example let me give you an example uh, for biometric verification uh, bank can provide you the uh, api's like if whenever you are going for uh, account opening you have definitely noticed that um, in the bank we have a biometric device through which the uh, through which the account manager will verify that your biometric verification or thumb impression is valid or not let me give you so this is all done through the api's application programming interfaces